But today uh, we're gonna try our luck. We're gonna mount this. There's a couple ways to do it. One way you could put a screw in here if you have any short screws and then just press it and let the impressions do the work. But in our case, we don't have any. So we're just going to mark where these are going with a pencil on top. Okay, place our transformer exactly where we want to put it. Right here, line up our marks that we just made. Some marks on the lumber. Now we're gonna put a couple of screws in. I'm just gonna use regular structural screws because I got a bunch laying around. I'm sure it comes with screws to do the mounting, but today uh, we're gonna try our luck. There's two prongs in here. Slide those over the screw heads and down. And Bob is your uncle. Easy as that. Our electrician had already given us this so we could plug this in for our landscape lighting transformer. And now we need our landscape lighting wire. We ran our three zones inside. A little bit extra slack is always good. So we're just gonna make sure we have a little bit this plus a little extra. So we'll snip them all right there. All right. Okay, so I'll plug each zone in individual. If you look here at the transformer, we have the capacity for three zones. We're gonna flip these switches up. Now what we wanna do is we wanna strip our wire you look right under there, there's a little hole to stick this in. Okay, you stick one in, clamp it shut. Make sure you got a good twist on them so they don't get frayed. Because if they're frayed, the two frays might touch each other. If they touch each other, it'll just trip that breaker every time. So there's one hookup, and now we're gonna do two more. Locked in. All right, now that all three of those are on, we take our decorative cover that we took off when we started, and we slap that puppy back in. Look at that, and we take our trusty plug and plug her in to our dedicated outlet. Turn it on, and you got it.